again. Bomb. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. He's still out there. 80. Yeah! Here we are. Opening weekend. Buoy 10. Well, it actually opened on Wednesday, but first day we could get here was Saturday. So we're here. We're out here. Getting ready to get the boat launched. We're in line. Fishing with, man, we got Johnny Hollis's boat out here today. Josh Handy's boat. My boat. Cameron will be out in the ocean. Swanson's out here. Pop-Off's out here. We got all sorts of boats. So hopefully we can connect with a few of those people when we're out on the water. And hopefully we can bonk some salmon. So it is game time. Astoria Buoy 10 2018. Addicted life. It's a little dark. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's about to get daylight here in like 10 minutes. We gotta go. We yeah. gotta go, go, go. Load up. Load up. There's Johnny. Oh, there's Johnny. All right, see you later. Oh, what a beautiful morning. This is what we look forward to every single year. Is that sunrise? And then one of these Okuma rods is just getting buried into the water. Go over here, we got Johnny's boat hanging out. We got Josh over there. A lot of other fellow anglers on their way out. It's gonna be a good year, hopefully. Sounds like we got some good tides. With some, we had some big exchanges this morning with a really, really big incoming, and then a weak outgoing, which usually means death to Chinook. So stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll have some some bites. Keep with us, everyone. It's all right, you're good. You're almost at high. I'll see you later. You're almost at high tide, bro. You're fine. Bye, Bye guys. He'll be dialed. We gonna get him, boys. Yeah. Well, we're heading out right now. Heading out this buoy 10. Here we go. About to kick this off. We're heading out. It's game time. The sunrise is coming up. Guys are in the boat getting all the rods rigged. And here's the real story of what happened this morning. Or actually last night. We're still all standing around the boat and Lonnie looks at me and goes, where's the seats? And I was like, oh shit. And turns out I forgot them in the garage. But Josh came to the rescue because he has an Umqua Marine and the seats just went right up in my boat. So Josh had two extra seats and we got them now. So we're dialed, we got Sharon and Sean and the other Sean and Lonnie and me, and we're about to have five dead salmon, so stay tuned. Drop it down to like 20, five. Get it right below that. We fishing. Do it. Get him. You ready? Yes, sir. Ready to catch fish? Yep, yeah. Got the rods in the water. We're about to catch fish. Yeah, get it. Pretty sure he's there, Sean. Oh yeah, it is there. Yeah, he's there. Yeah, it's real Jack. Oh no! Lost him. You know that'll happen when you Are set you the hook like that, Sean. Yeah, ripped it right out of his mouth. Yeah. He ain't large mouth bass fishing. Yeah. We told him to grab it. I thought he was there. Didn't he look like he was? Yeah. Well, I hope yeah, that wasn't the boat way. operator to set the hook. I did. I gassed it. So you have there's like a scratch on this rod, and I'm sitting there like rubbing it, and then I thought, like I I let go of the rod, and I I thought that it was for me bouncing. All of a sudden, it's just like going off. And then a my dumbass was like, Sean, get it, <laughs> grab it. He's back. He's back. He's back. Get him. Get him. Get him. There he is. 
nice fish. Bring those other ones all the way in, Sharon. Yeah, reel those in, Sharon. Get them out of the way. Woo, wrong one. Wrong one. Oh, look at that. On the old Twisted There's Addiction in pink. Damn. Really? What? Wild anyway. Really? Oh, bonk. Yeah, it does. He's dead, dude. That's yeah. our fish. That, you know, it does look like a tulip. Looks like a tulip. It's a little spot. Yeah, and it's freaking. He's all like short. Let me look at him. Pull him up. Let me see. He's got sea lice. Let me look at him. Dude, I don't know, man. That's like a really tough call. I would bonk him. That's just me. We can bonk. I mean, it's not sea lice. It's hard little, to tell. Yeah. Hard to tell and not know. I mean, I think he's a tulip too. I think we should let him go. You notice on those shorter rods though, like the bite's different, like because they're more sensitive on the tip, but like yeah, on this long rod, on those both those bites, even that small bite, the whole rod is like it it was bending all the way to here. Yeah. Really giving that fish a lot of freaking room to bite. Was it fun fighting? It on that Okuma 12 oh, footer? Yeah. You have like all the advantage in the yeah, world with saying. that rod. rod. <laughs> it was just like, Whoa. I fought so many fish on them. Fish yeah. We got one Thule. One Thule. How's your hand smell? Actually, not too bad after I uh, let him enjoyed them. We are one for one so far. Actually, no, we're one for two. We missed a little bite on the jack. Yeah, who knows what that was? It could have, I mean, like you said, it could have been. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Handy, you know, I think, knows? has got a couple fish. It so was far. suspended. You know, and that's what yeah, hopefully we can get some more bites. We're working at it. Like the stuff you put it in is your fish, fish tank. food. You sure I know, but like your fish oh. tank food. That's sure what it smells smell. like. Did you reel up? I went like this. What is that? Look at that. You see that? That's like fish went up to the freaking yeah, line. Yeah, that's a, that's a fish. Freaking. Literally, you see that on the finder? A fish went up freaking. to one of the bow rods. Yeah, oh yeah, you can see it clear as day, dude. Just right as we said, oh, let's go down. Dude, the Chinook only want herring, Handy even said. No, anchovies will not work out here. Didn't we already get bites on anchovies today? No, they weren't. Oh, those ones. Yeah. Well, the only bites I care about are the ones that were on my rod. <laughs> what do you have to say to the people of Addicted Life that are watching us out there on YouTube? Pay attention if you want to catch fish, because as you can see, it's it's hot out here. Ooh, camera's cold. Let's oh, get hot bite, hot bite. bite. Lights on. <laughs> Seen a couple just spotty. Dude, you know we'd get bass. Karen, Karen. Oh, that's a good one. Here. Real, real, real. Keep real, real. Rod up. Keep real. Rod up, rod up. Lift, lift, lift. Lift. Lead. Watch that lead. Marlon, it's over your head. That is close. I need an actual tape. Legal. God damn, dude. See that? Right there. Bonk. <laughs> Sharon's about to mark her first salmon, and I'm excited because we're gonna use this new Gerber pin, part of their new fishing line products. It's a pressurized pin, so it'll work in like all conditions, whether it's you know raining or anything like that. It's a pretty badass pin. But the really cool thing that's happening right now is Sharon's gonna mark her first salmon of the year. That outgoing tide, see those salmon? They hit the ground, bellies in the dirt. <laughs> Let's go this. Yee yee. <laughs> All right. 
You ain't tapping bottom, you ain't tapping that sweet Chinook ass. <laughs> that was great. So out here, our opening day out here at Bowie 10, it's kind of a slow morning. For us, I mean, we've been doing all right, but it seems like for the majority of the boats out here, there's a lot of boats out here not doing that good. I think we're two for four right now, and it's outgoing. It kind of switched a couple hours ago. And so there's a boat, well, no, that boat just got one a few minutes ago, but I don't know. It's kind of hit and miss out here. We're trying to search for them. We're hoping for a little bit better afternoon. Once this tide switches again, we'll be out here. So you'll see us out here, Addicted Life. We got some big fucking head shakes, Juan. Why not? Please tell me he didn't just come off. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's under the boat. Oh, shit. Look out, look out, look out. Damn, big fish. Rally. He's still out there 80 fucking feet. Seriously? Yeah. Is that a spurgeon? No way, head shakes are amazing. Flasher. Oh, nice fish, dude. Big fish. That's up there, everybody. Bonk. Hatchery. Bonk. Dude. Bonk. Woo! Yeah! That's what are you whacking? Check I, out I this URB big. Come on. Look at this guy. That is a beast. Beast. Bonk. It's rogue. That's a rogue, dude. Those are rare. That's gonna be a fucking good fish. See that left ventral clip? Everyone out there watching on the Addicted Life episode, we're talking about rogue fish because this right here, you can see how this fin's all, it's not a full fin. This has been clipped at some point when it was a baby. So that's how you know it's a rogue fish going to the rogue river. Not anymore because he's gonna go into my belly. Bonk. Dialed. We can let him out. That's not. a nice ass fish. That thing, that is, that's girthy. I love those. That's exactly what I was talking about, what we needed right there. Marlon trolls at like 500 miles per hour. No, I troll slow. This guy right here is the fast troller. Oh, yeah, he says I troll too slow. He says I troll too fast. <laughs> that Chinook in the box says I troll just right. <laughs> so far, this Bob Sporting Goods kill bag is keeping our drinks cold. <laughs> That's about all it's doing right now. It's tropical down here too. It is nice. I guess all the fish are out in the ocean. I think Marlon's got two now. And I know you released a wild tuli. So there's fish around, just not a lot. All right, boys, we're hooked up. Here we go. Oh, up, oh, rock tip. Looks like we got a big fish on, guys. That thing was running on the Oh, yeah. He was running right on the surface. Trying to help bring it back. He was hot. Oh, a big toy. Oh, big toy. Big toy. I can see the brown from there. I saw, yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was like, uh. That's, nice. oh, that's a big fish though. Yeah, we're gonna get a good picture with this. My god. <laughs> Turn this way. Look at that thing. That's a big fish. Dude, I swear to god it looked like a well, fish. Well look where it broke. Right here. L listen, I was like, I looked over at the rod and it was like going like this. And I'm like, is that a fish? Then I picked it up and there was no head shakes or anything. It just was heavy. I wonder if it was a sturgeon. No, dude, no way. That, it would, shouldn't break like that. What if it wrapped around its freaking, uh, dude, it, it, it skates. I didn't reel in that far. I, dude, I think it was like an anchor rope or something. Yeah, something busted it. That's not normal. That's what, 65 pound braid? Yeah, it's really good. That's, are you kidding 40 me? now. Wow, that's an expensive ass loss. Damn it. Dude, what was it? It was a shark, I'm telling you. It was a fish, dude, because when I looked at it, it was like going like this. I think it was an anchor rope. I don't know. We're never gonna know, dude. It could have been treasured gold or something. 
put him in a dead body. Hey, all you addicted life people watching, what do you think it was that we just hooked and lost? I'm gonna say it was a giant fish. That's not like a it was a sturgeon clean or something. cut. I don't. I have no Sean, idea. Sean, what do you think it was? Cooper's body. <laughs> I think it was an anchor rope or a line of some kind down there. Sure. Like line, tree. line. You think it was a tree? Yep. You're no fun. <laughs> I think it was a giant fish or a treasure chest of gold. Davy Jones in the locker. So, what do you guys out there think what it was? Tell us in the comments below what you think Lonnie just broke off. Could have been. Could have been something amazing, but now Dude, we're I know, I know I'm really strong, <laughs> but I didn't pull that hard. And it just broke. Yeah, those look pretty damn fishy to me. Those are good arches. Yeah. I don't understand why we're not getting any fish. Looks like we're gonna have to call it a day. Bites off. Wind's Going coming to up. Head to Andy. Well. We're calling it a day. It was fun. We bonked a couple. Josh got a couple. Johnny and those guys, I think, got a toolie. Cameron killed a bunch in the ocean, of course, because he's got a big boat and he can go in the ocean, and we can't. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in with us. Addicted Life.